Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash the Starburst ROM on your Samsung Epic Touch 4G. Uh, this ROM is, I believe, a stock-based ROM. It is. Uh, it just has some tweaks added, some nice uh, features added as well. I've heard it's a very nice ROM, so definitely be sure to check it out. Prerequisites: make sure you are rooted and have Clockwork mod. So make sure you have both of those. And once you do, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Uh, big thanks to Phantom Hacker for this ROM, the Starburst ROM. As you can see, it was updated version 1.5 right there. That's the latest right now, Phantom Hacker. Um, as you can see, it says the best stock experience, so I believe it has a stock theme to it. I haven't flashed it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a go right now and give a little review of it as well. I'll give you some information about... Uh, different features that it does have but then once you uh, go ahead and scroll down and click on stable starburst ROM that's going to be the most stable if you want to try a nightly ROM which might have some bugs in it you can go ahead and click on that but I would recommend clicking on stable and click on that download it it's going to be a zip file it's going to be called stable epic starburst um, and just transfer it over to SD card so mount your SD card and transfer it over and once uh, the zip file is on your SD card go ahead and power off your epic touch and then once it powers off, you're going to need to go into Clockwork Mod, and then we can go ahead and flash the ROM. All right, now my phone has powered off. You're going to need to boot into Clockwork Mod, uh, Volume Up, and Power Button at the same time. So press and hold Volume Up and Power Button at the same time. Just keep holding it until Clockwork Mod pops up. As you can see, I don't have a yellow triangle there anymore. I do have a video showing how to get rid of it if it does bother you and you don't like it. As you can see, no more yellow triangle, and it's just the stock splash screen right there. But anyways, as you can see, Clockwork Mod Based Recovery, version 5.0.2.3. Uh, go ahead, and what you're going to need to do is I would recommend making an Android backup. If you, if you haven't yet, go ahead and go to Backup and Restore and hit Backup. So hit Backup. It's going to back up your current system setup. In case anything goes wrong, you can just restore that backup that you made. So just a heads up there, I would recommend making that backup. I've already made one, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and not make a backup. And then you're going to need to hit Wipe Data slash Factory Reset. So select that. Volume up and down to navigate, power button to select, and then go to yes, delete all user data. It's going to go ahead and wipe all your data on your phone, so make sure you back up any apps, contacts, messages, anything that you want backed up before you run through this process. Now go ahead and go to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. It's going to wipe cache, and then go to advanced and hit wipe Dalvik cache. And then hit yes, wipe down with cache. So make sure all three of those are wiped. And once those are wiped, go ahead and go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then I actually, I put mine on my internal. So not choose zip. It depends on which one you put it on, whether it was the SD card or internal. Otherwise, you can go to choose zip from internal SD card, which is where I'm going to go to. So wherever you put that. And then go to uh, navigate to that stable Epic Starburst uh, ROM. I'm going to go and find it. Let's see. There it is. Stable Epic Starburst 10.9.11.zip. Select it and then hit yes. Install stable Epic Starburst. What that's going to do is just go ahead and install the ROM. Be patient with it. It might take a little while. And then once it's done installing, you can go ahead and reboot your phone. All right. Now that it says install from SD card complete, it means the ROM has done installing. Go ahead and hit go back, and then just hit reboot system now. So reboot your phone. The first boot up is going to take a little while, just because Dalvik cache is wiped and it's an initial ROM install. So be patient with this first boot up. Um, it's definitely going to take longer than any other boot up that after you boot up your phone. Nice Galaxy S2 boot animation, as you can see. Just a little different right there. It's very cool. Reminds me of the stock Epic boot up. Well, the old one with the keyboard, anyway. <laughs> Alright, now my phone has booted up. Takes you to the Android startup screen. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little guy. I'm going to skip through these account setups just so you don't have to watch me set up uh, the accounts. Should go ahead and take me to the home screen. As you can see, Touch was 4 launcher initially. Stock Touch was 4 launcher. I do really like this Touch was 4 launcher, so I'm glad he included it in this ROM. I'm going to go ahead and check out the status bar up at the top. As you can see, stock gingerbread battery icon with the battery per battery percentage modification once media scanning finishes up. As you can see, it says 91%. If I can get that to focus. Sorry about that, guys. 
Uh, but it, anyways, it has four signal bars right here. I believe it's white, but once I sync my Google account, they will turn green, which is very cool right there. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down. As you can see, a uh, nice transparent notification bar right there. I uh, believe these icons are a little darker up at the top as well, more of a black to them. But uh, very cool, really nice green glow at the bottom here. That's very nice. So cool notification bar. Nice job there theming that. I'm going to go ahead and hit menu, settings, scroll down to about phone. As you can see, it has over scroll glow included, orange over scroll glow, which is very nice. It also has CRT screen off animation. So press the power button, CRT screen off animation. So that's very cool right there. Um, let's see, I'm going to go to about phone. And as you can see, Android version 2.3.4. Uh, right, right there, it comes with the EG30 Plus kernel, so there you go right there in case you're wondering what kernel it comes with, which is ACS member Chris 41G's kernel, and as well as Bubby 323, so both ACS members, so included with that kernel right there, um, but also when you go to settings, you have lock screen settings down at the bottom, so go ahead and click on them, you have different lock screen options, which is very cool, I'm going to go to lock screen settings, lock screen style, uh, I believe you have seven different options, you have rotary unlock, which is what I, you've already seen. Uh, you go left to right to turn on sound on and off, as you can see, and swipe this way to unlock. So go ahead and unlock it. You also have AOSP unlock. This is the stock gingerbread uh, unlock, left and right, and sound. Same as rotary, just a little different style. Sound on, sound off, as well as unlock. So just like that, you also have four tab unlock, which is a very nice one. I like that one a lot. Uh, you got different four options. You got unlock, sound, you go to your phone app, and you go to your messaging app, or whatever custom app you set it to, I believe. So if I go to that, it should take me to the messaging app, as you can see right there, which is very nice. Um, you also have honeycomb style uh, lock screen, uh, which if any of you have used a tablet, this comes with this honeycomb style lock screen. Just drag this circle outside of this circle. So there you go right there, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Rotary revamped, which is a little different, just like Rotary, except you can slide down here to go to your messaging app. So you got unlock, sound, and then slide down to go to your messaging app. So that's nice right there. You also have lens unlock, which is similar to MIUI, just without the other shortcuts. It's just unlock. You just swipe it down and it unlocks, so in case you like that one. And also, uh, Epic Touch Unlocks, which is a stock Epic Touch Galaxy S2 unlock. So that's nice right there. Um, so very cool lock screen settings included. I believe he also included um, the, the Sprint Hotspot hack. So I believe you can go to the native Sprint Hotspot app. And uh, if you did have 3G and just hit activate hotspot, it should activate your hotspot. I believe it's 3G only right now, to my knowledge, uh, just a heads up there. But um, as you can see, it says hotspot activated. I don't have data connectivity. My number's not on this phone right now, so I don't have 3G access right now. So, But I'm pretty sure this will work if I did have 3G connectivity. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off real quick. Uh, just basically overall, just some custom changes to make things faster, work better. Uh, I haven't had any lag. It's, everything seems pretty smooth, working really well. So I'm hoping battery life will be a little better with this ROM as well. Definitely going to have to check this one out. Um, very nice. It also doesn't have uh, carrier IQ. Thanks to Conan for removing that for all of us. Carrier IQ is something basically it... Uh, logs um, different things that you do on your phone, Sprint logs them, so I'm assuming it's going to save battery life by removing it as well as not have Sprint being invasive on your uh, Epic Touch 4G. I believe there's also a modded camera app. I'm going to go to the camera app. Uh, modified camera app right here. I believe when it focuses it's not going to make a beeping noise, so it didn't make a beeping noise when it focused. I made a clicking noise, but I believe that has to do with just having the sound on. But anyways, as you can see, when it focused, it didn't make a beeping noise. So that's very nice right there. But other than that, uh, very stock look to it, stock gingerbread look to it. Um, very nice theming job by him. Also, it's everything seems smooth and snappy, so you're definitely going to have to be sure to check this ROM out. Um, obviously, those cool features added, overscroll glow, CRT screen off animation, which is very nice. You also have those awesome lock screen settings in case you are a fan of changing your lock screen up, which is very nice. Um, if you do have any questions, run into any problems at all when installing this ROM, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.